Congressman uh, Daryl Issa regarding a meeting with CGI officials. CGI, uh, of course, is the lead contractor, the Canadian contractor involved in helping build the website. Yes. Uh, Issa, Congressman Issa, told CG, says that CGI told your committee that the White House was directly responsible for making technical decisions. Congressman Daryl Issa, uh, the chairman of the House Oversight Committee, uh, wrote a letter which was publicly released accusing the White House of injecting politics into decisions about the website. The administration wanted you to lay, see your subsidy more than they wanted you to see the initial price. Do you have any knowledge of any White House role in specific decisions relating to the website? Not to my knowledge. But why? Why do you believe they did that? Sticker shock. Are Mr. Issa's allegations correct? And did the White House ever order order your company for political reasons to mask the sticker shock of Obamacare by disabling this anonymous shopper function? I don't believe that um, members of CGI actually made those statements direct in, the, in that manner. I think they may have been taken out of context. You have a real problem because of political interference. Contractors have told our committee that a month out they were told to basically bury the information people wanted most. To my knowledge, no, the White House has not given us direct instructions. The fact is, political interference a month out hid the problem and buried the information they didn't want seen. Do you have any evidence that political considerations motivated this decision? I, I'm not privy to anything of that sort. They deliberately went the other way, broke best practices, and buried the information about the high cost of Obamacare. Well, that, Are you aware of any political intervention by this White House uh, relating to your work on healthcare.gov? I am not.